All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the Minister M.L. Kimball coming to you live. I am so excited today to get started on this wonderful day, but we do not want to get started without getting our Bible study out the way. So I want you to get your Bibles out uh, if you can. And we're going to go to the book of Deuteronomy today. For some reason, I just feel like I need to go back down the uh, book of Deuteronomy so that way we can understand what uh, the Most High required from us in the beginning, which never was supposed to change, and what he also promised us if we obeyed this. So the first thing I want you to do is like, share, comment. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I do need your subscription. It is free of charge. I'm not asking for anything besides for you to hit the button and also hit the button to notify yourself when I do come with new content, because I do try to give you guys fresh content, whether it's Bible study, tearing about part of the Bible, or we're just dealing with everyday issues. That's why it's called Word on the Street Talk TV. I want to talk about everything. I don't care what the situation is, what it's about. I want to talk about it. And that's the reason why we're dealing with this. Um, that's the reason why I, I changed the channel, uh, because that's the way I want it to be. So uh, if you do have your Bibles, I don't want you to go to Deuteronomy chapter number 28. Yes, Deuteronomy chapter number 28. Um, and we're going to start at verse number one. I'm going to skip around a little bit because I want to drive home my point with this uh, quick little study here. The first verse says, and it shall come to pass that if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahuwah, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day. So we must understand who is talking here. This is obviously Moses talking to the children of Israel. He says that Yahuwah will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you if you shall hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah. So we must understand that he already promised us blessings. But there was, it was contingent upon the fact that we have to understand that we must obey in order to walk in the blessings. See, we cannot just take one or the other. You cannot just say, oh, I'm blessed, but you're not obeying. Because at the end of the day, you're not really blessed by the Most High if you're not obeying His commandments. This is what the scripture is saying. So I'm not going to go ahead and go through all of what all the way down to verse 15 says, because he just promises you what type of blessings that will happen to us if we obey. But then we get over to verse 15. He says, but it shall come to pass if you will not hearken to the voice of Yahuwah to observe, to do all his commandments and his statues, which I command you this day. Still Moses talking that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. So we must understand that, there, that the Most High is not just a, 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 a genie that's going to bless you for everything that you think because you walk and you just say, oh, I believe and oh, I've repented. No, we are finding out right here that he's saying that you can only be blessed one way or another. And that means if you're obeying my commandments. So whatever scam came along and told you that the commandments are done away with or they are, uh, 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 are put on the cross, that is something that you better take a look at as bamboozlement, as a scam. Because at the end of the day, where did this change? It never changed. He gave two, two different ways. Either you're blessed or you're cursed. And they both come from the most high. So don't sit here and tell me that the Most High doesn't curse when it's clear that he says that these curses will overtake you. Why? Because you did not obey his commandments. So don't tell me anything about what you don't have to do. If you can show me where this changed, then I think I might take a look at your scam. But until then, that will always remain a scam because you can only be blessed and you can only be saved if you're obeying what he commanded. I'm the Minister M.L. Kimball. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.